Hello, you're watching Bernadette TV, online TV to help you be the best you can be in your business and your life. And today we're talking about how to do business on your terms. Right, so this did seem like a good idea uh, three hours ago. And uh, what's happened is we arrived at the studio this morning and it was beautiful blue skies and sunshine. And I said to Ashleen, my producer, what a wasted opportunity. We're going to be indoors filming all day. How about after we film some episodes in the studio, we head out to a nice spot and find a nice outdoor spot where we can do an episode of Bernadette TV. And uh, there is a saying, if you want to make God laugh, show him your plans. And I think God's having a good old chuckle at us right now because in the meantime, as can happen with the weather here in Northern Ireland, the skies have gone overcast. There is no more blue sky, but you know, we're not easily stopped. So we're powering ahead. I'm going to make it happen no matter what. So I want to talk to you today about doing business on your own terms and the reason that I picked it for this particular episode is because I realised this morning arriving at the studio that I was making an assumption. The assumption was, hey we always film here and even though the weather's really nice outside because we always film here, we have to carry on filming here. And I think that often in life and in business that we can get into these types of patterns where we end up doing things, not because they're things that we've actually chosen for ourselves, but because it's something that we've just got into a habit of. And particularly in coaching people to help them to grow their businesses and have a business that really works with their life, one of the things that I've noticed over and over is that people stop themselves with the assumptions that they make. There is almost like an underlying assumption that you can't have it all, that there has to be some type of compromise. So today I want to really challenge you to think about what is your ideal business and if you could wave a magic wand and set up your business so it was exactly how you would want it to be, what would it look like? You know, these days there's so many opportunities in terms of um, technology and the assistance that's out there that pretty much any of us can create the business that we want, exactly doing it as we want to. And the number one challenge that stops people, in my experience, is our thinking. And so today I want to help you break out of that thinking. So I want you to sit yourself down and ask yourself, if I had a magic wand and I could design and set up my business exactly how I wanted it to be, what would that look like? Who would be the clients that you worked with? What would you be delivering to clients? Would you be working with them in person? Would you be leading groups? Would you maybe be um, delivering information over the internet and never even speaking to a customer? You know, what type of business do you want? Do you want to have a huge business that's like a global empire that has lots of employees? Or maybe you prefer, like me, to have a simpler business that enables you to still reach a lot of people. I reach over 6,000 customers in over 70 countries, and yet yeah, I have a very small team. I'm able to work from home, and at the moment, for personal reasons and family commitments, I choose not to have a lot of travel in my business model. And I really want you to grasp this opportunity and recognize you really can have it exactly how you want it. And not only can you have it, but it's actually the best way to do it. Because I think God doesn't give us our dreams without the ability to make it possible. And the business that you're dreaming of, what, what, you, what you crave, what's perfect for you, that's the business you're meant to have. That's where you're going to show up and shine in the best possible way. That's where you're going to make the biggest difference. So two parts to this exercise. The first is to get really, really clear on what it is you want, the type of the amount of money that you'd be making, the types of clients you'd be working with, products or services, the amount of team. Think about your working hours. You know, if you've got a preference that you only want to work school hours, you can absolutely have that. So write it down as though you're crafting your perfect order for your best business. So the second part of this exercise is then to identify what is the first action you could take to align with this vision first action you could take to make this happen. It only has to be one step. Just that very first step is you saying, I claim it all, I choose to do business on my own terms, I can have what I want. So I hope this has inspired you to go and put it into action. I can't wait to hear how you get on with this. Would love it if you would share with me in the box below how this episode has impacted you. And I can't wait until I connect with you on the next episode of Bernadette TV.